before we start, we're giving a little bit of something to you about this episode because we've had a natter back and forth Mm -hmm. and something happens within that is a massive plot twist. Yes. Yeah. It's not normal spoilers. It felt like it was more extreme for us to spoil this plot twist than when we do a normal deep dive on it so um yeah what we've decided to do is split the episode so we've got all the chatty bits up until the point where it would become like epic spoiler and then we're going to stop and split it to a separate episode so if you want to just listen to the first one and then go and get the book and read it and enjoy it and then you can listen to the second one yes putting it in everywhere for you so yeah be aware be warned and then we'll we'll get going listen to the bits you need yeah that's it and enjoy Yay. thank you very much we shall Bye. continue hello and welcome to sff rumcast this is week four of our six weeks um i am jessica haynes i love romance i read romance i write romance and i try and chat romance yes and i'm emma and i'm one of the people you chat romance to lots and we decided to record it (laughs) i love romance too and write it and read it as well and we're all about the sci-fi fantasy side of it, as the name suggests. Mm-hmm. So this week is our week four, and we are looking into the book Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster. Now, if you've joined us previously, you know that our, our links join up the last book to this book. So last week's book was Fallen by C.N. Crawford. So the link between that and this is Hades and Persephone. <clears throat> and I shall read the blurb. Princess tribute sacrifice. Is she the one prophesied to unite two warring fey courts or the one bound to destroy them? In a realm ruled by magic, the ruthless queen of thorns is determined to destroy her nemesis, the cursed prince of Evernight. With war brewing between the bitter enemies, the prince forces Queen Adea to uphold an ancient treaty. She will send one of her daughters to his court as a political hostage for three months. The Queen insists it's the perfect opportunity for Princess Iskvian to end the war before it begins. But one look into Tiago's smouldering eyes and Vi knows she's no assassin. The more secrets she uncovers about the Prince and his court, the more she begins to question her mother's motives. Who is the true enemy? The Dark Prince who threatens her heart? Or the Ruthless Queen who will stop at nothing to destroy him? And when the curse threatens to shatter both corpses, is her heart strong enough to break it? Ooh. There we go. Now, should we put an apology for pronunciations of names and things in here? Oh, now? my God, yes. We, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, anybody listening, sorry. Yeah, Not they really are, sorry. yeah. It's, it's hard. Fantasy names are <laughs> so yeah. hard. And there are a lot of names that are clearly, like, Celtic based little and derived from a lot of that and they're not the easiest at the best of times and then when you add a fantasy spin onto it too it's like yeah my brain struggles my brain did struggle (laughs) so we're going to try and shorten as humanly possibly as much as we can yes are we ready we are ready steady go. go We shall begin, I guess. We start with a prologue, don't we? We love love a prologue. But this one's more of an info prologue, isn't it? I guess. I mean, yeah, it fills in quite a bit of... All the gaps. (laughs) Yeah, a lot lot of history that lays the scene for this one and all of the kings and queens and things. Um, You know, how much did you understand it as you went through did this really help you well (laughs) I'm I'm glad you mentioned it (laughs) (laughs) I did have to read it several times to kind of go what now yeah no I did it kind of it got a little bit 
what's that now? Who's that now? Who are the months? It sort of mentioned yeah. the Fae and it said, yeah. and then there were monsters. And I'm like, are the Fae mm. the monsters or did the monsters come from space? Because it seemed to be like they travelled thought... through other worlds. And yeah. Stuff. And I'm like, are they? As I here? understood it, it was that the, the, this land that they've gone to was ruled by creatures with magic, these old ones. Mm-hmm. Yes. And other creatures that lived there. And then the Fae came from space which is quite a cool twist space bay <laughs> space bay um and then when they came i got the impression from the prologue it was like they'd they bred and they'd got like these half mutated and these became which, the unseelie yes. fae um yes. who worshipped the old ones um and then the no- the normal fae the seely fae well, that had seely. arrived from space fae the space bay <laughs> stayed. Um, this is the only mention of space in it as well, isn't it? Yes. It's just cool. like this, yeah. And it could be almost like just the myth of what they heard. Who knows? Because it's meant to be really, really ancient it's history. A long isn't it? time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put and in then... our first Game of Thrones reference? Because I keep oh, calling yeah. them the unsullied. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Unseen, there are some. Unsullied. There are some. Yeah, in here that is like. They're very close to uh, to Game of Thrones, is that? But I guess that's fantasy, isn't it? So I mean, it kind of it yeah. gives you all of the details that mm-hmm. they've got the un not the unsolid the unseely and the seely, <laughs> and there's yeah. a war between them. So they're seen yeah. as monsters and the yeah. the good side. So yeah. it's the the war of light and dark. Yeah, and that happened like yeah. after they yeah they'd been fighting over the territories, and then there was one massive war. 500 years ago, all of the Seely courts came together to defeat the Unseely um, and and lock away the old ones in the yes. hallows, which are like standing stone circles mm. that needed a big sacrifice to get someone, get these massively powerful beings. There's like 13 of them, isn't there? Um, yes. These sound very cool. Yes. Some more than others, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you give me names, I'd go, he sounds nice. But when you hear about him, you go, uh, Ooh, maybe not so much. Maybe not. Yeah, no, they are interesting. I probably should have written the list down of all the names and stuff. But some of I them have feature more than I, I mm. thought you would. I was like, I bet yes. you just did that. <laughs> so anal. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're, they're highlighted in pink. So yeah, I this meant to is, highlight. I wasn't even that organised with my notes. I was like, I'll did do you not highlight? No highlights or sad faces. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think so. If I get one, I'll show you. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, um, it kind of then yeah establishes that the sea yeah. won the war and they banished yeah. the unseely mm-hmm. to the north and just kind of left yeah. them out of the way. And it's it was the prophecies of Arcadia. It was kind of noted oh, at the bottom of the okay. prologue that, yeah, that is kind of what was said right. in their prophecies and how it happened. Yeah. So there's a little bit, there's a 20 minutes of background for you. <laughs> yeah. So they've now got an alliance as well between the seedy courts and yes. there's a few unseedy courts as well who like surrendered and became part and they agreed to a peace treaty type of yes. thing. But they don't. Signed in blood. No, no, you know, it is classic political manoeuvrings in that no one trusts anyone, really. Yeah, uh, yeah. So get a page in, you see why. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my yeah. God. So we start with Vi, who, it was really weird. Her name didn't come up till quite a way into the chapter, which I thought was quite oh, quite right. clever. So it's yeah. done in first person. Um, mm-hmm. We land in the kingdom of Asturia. Asturia. Is what that, I'm going that with. We'll do. I'm happy with that. Yeah. We'll go with that. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, um, we've got this woman who is chasing around a beast in a forest. Mm-hmm. Um, he's called a bane. He's a twisted up creature, half human, half creature. Yeah. And, yeah, we're kind of inside Vi's head to kind of see what's going on. Mm. And, yeah, it's basically she's we're in there and you can see she's not happy about chasing after this creature because she knows she's got to kill him. Yeah. Because she's kind of at war with her sister about who's yeah. going to be the heir to the throne. Mm, there's a rivalry going on, and yes. she's very clearly not the favoured child. And she, yes. you know, she has that in her head that she's not the favoured child. But she does track the bane down. They're kind of like a 
a wolf splash lion type thing aren't they with, that's and what it humanoid like, yeah. as well but it's like they're cursed aren't they i think they were fey that have been cursed so yes um, going back to one of the old ones and linked to the grim oh yeah one Usually of 13 like, yeah <laughs> there we go Ding. <laughs> just chalk that one up um hey. Yeah, and she tracks him down and they get to like, it's an old ruin of a tower as well, isn't it? Which is like, yes. who used to rule that that kingdom before her mother overthrew. And she doesn't even know the full story of it. All we know about her mother at this stage is that she sounds really formidable. And yeah, um, yeah. and that she's obviously pitting her children against each other. And it's quite Yeah, brutal. pretty much. Yeah. yeah, if you don't kill this man creature thing, then mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't look yeah. good. So, yeah, we follow Vi in, and then her sister kind of turns up and she's like, she is kick ass. You've got to give that yeah. to her. Andrast is I there with her leather like trousers. Andrast, I admit. Yeah. I was going to say there were some very big ups and downs where I kind of go, oh, Vi, really though? But yeah. that's later. That's and the one that is. I found that in this chapter as well, in rereading it, I think the first time I just kind of accepted it that it was like she's not the favoured one um, and her sister's there, all the golden hair and, you know. Mm -hmm. The the bow on the back. And and so capable. Yeah, you can just picture Mm -hmm. her and you can understand. I don't know. (laughs) I'm I'm a sister. I have another sister. (laughs) I can understand those feelings. But rereading it, you you look at it a little bit more closely and you're like, she really assumes the worst at every single possible stage of what her sister does. Yeah. Um, So, (laughs) yeah, I got that the entire way through and then it gets towards the end and you're like, just for the bone. But yeah, I'm spoiler. Sorry, don't want to give that away yet. But (laughs) we get there. So yeah, her sister comes kind of Robin Hood in there yeah. Um, and they chase after this Bane and they've kind of got him cornered and he yeah. kind of hisses something out. He hisses yeah. out the princess, princess. And she's like, yeah. okay. Oh, how and do you, she just what? she she has no clue. These these Banes are meant to be from the, the court of Ebonite, aren't they? Or something. It's like on the edge of they're from the darkness. They're they're the darkness. On the sea. They're dark. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, How do you know me? There's no way you could possibly know me you're just a beast yeah, that I've never seen yeah. before so well, that's it he's like I'm loyal I'm that's what he says I'm loyal yeah. I'm Evernight princess yeah and she's like well I've never even been to the Evernight court and I don't I don't know yeah what, what the and obviously it froze her as well because she's um not she's she hesitates doesn't she and she knows that's yeah. like the last thing she should do she should be a ruthless killer but she isn't and she hesitates oh, and no. Andras is right in there to like, you know. Yeah, to finish the job. Finish but the she job begs off. her sister, she's like, yeah, don't, please don't do it. And her sister's mm. like, yeah, when he's talking, there's so many hints that when you yeah. get the twists at the end, you can yeah. see them, the, the big, reread, and you're like, oh, Big there twisty is. book, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, she's like, don't kill him, and the mm. sister does. And she's like, what do you do that for? It's like, oh, because, you know, we have to. They're evil. We can't do this. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you you know what mother would say sort of thing. But, yeah, yeah um, Vi notices he's got an amulet around his neck with a wolf's head on it. So she mm-hmm. kind of goes and takes it, takes it away. That's it. So, yeah. And then she's um, kind of like, oh, typical. I've, I can't claim that. And so mother's going to be, you know, pissed. unhappy with me again. And that's how, yeah, that's where they move to next is that they're going to have the, uh, oh God, what's it called? Lammas Tide. Lammas Tide. Lammas so Tide. Is it's a few the... days later, isn't it? It's Yes. Yeah. So this is where all the five Sealy Courts come together. So yeah, we yeah. get to Lammas Tide and she's there and she's trying to pick out a dress and there's a white one and a red one and she's looking at them like, okay, white is virginal, really. Red was like just giving it away. She just didn't like yeah. either of them. And her mum's very much like, you should wear the red because I am yeah. the boss of you and you want to wear the red. And you see that Vi is like, no, oh. do you know what? No, I can rebel in tiny ways. But also mm-hmm. she finds out at this stage this is the point where her mum drops the the whole thing. Oh, on by the way, that she's going to be a political pawn hostage. Would you say? Kind of. Yeah, yeah. she's going to be going to this other court for three months. Yeah. By the court. way, 
Yeah, it's yeah. the Evernight Court, the worst possible yeah. one out of the five that I Who hate. Who her mother hates the worst. Yeah, mm. although she hates everybody, let's be fair. I mean, yeah, she's <laughs> not. Yeah, it, she's not. You'd not be on a Christmas card list, would you? But really? she's she's not a fan of Tiago, who is the prince of the Evernight Court. And that's who she's sending Vi off to. And she's like, so Vi is yeah. really chuffed about that because all yeah. she's heard is awful things about him. Yeah. Yeah, like so I'm, I'm fighting to be the heir. Yeah, so I'm fighting mm. to be the heir. Oh, actually, now I'm just a pawn. Thank yeah, you. That's it. I'm just going to be sent off. And she's like quite convinced it's going to be, well, what's he going to do to me there? You know, he's meant to be this most awful, terrible person. You know, I'm probably just going to be tied up in a dungeon or something like that. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So her mum goes and she's kind of mooching in a wardrobe and finds a different dress. And she's like, you know mm-hmm. what? I had that made. It's black and it's covered in like diamantes. It kind of, it's sort of sold so. as starlight. It looks like stars yeah. on the night Sounds sky. So she's nice. like, you know what? That'll do me. Yeah. So she throws that on. And then, yeah, her sister comes to take mm-hmm. her to, they go to a place called Queen's Moat. Queen's Moot. Queen's Moot, I think. Um, where yeah they they all meet up and there's kind of it's like hollowed ground that nobody can do anything nobody can yeah. hurt the alliance has said this is a sacred mm-hmm. place so yeah she meets her sister and her sister kind of knows what's going on already mm. knew she was the heir kind of thing yeah. so Vi is a little bit pissed at her sister as well and her sister's like oh you never know might be quite nice yeah, yeah. just you wait know. and You've see maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's you like... never know yeah. So yeah, Vi's like, really? <laughs> have have you been to this place yeah. that mother hates? You're not the one being made to go. You're the favorite. Yeah. Nah, nah. Sounds like my kids. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <holidays>. <laughs> You're not fair. Yeah, it's really well written how the siblings are. But you also yeah. get, to be fair to Vi, there's also her memories of what it was like with her sister before she's like she's not quite sure when it started to change so much and they sort of Mm. split apart but they were very close when they were children it's rivalry as adults yeah and I think Mm. it's kind of hinted that the mum has spurred that on by taking the sister into meetings and shutting the door on volume when counsellors come Mm -hmm. yeah when counsellors and other elders come she kind of pushes yeah. and rest forward and shoves the other one back so you can kind of yes. see where it's come from for her but mm. you know so yeah they go to meet all these people she's got this dress on and she kind of hides it under the cloak we got more clothes yeah. again which I thought was quite cool yeah but she Lots hides it under a cloak mm-hmm. until she gets to the point where her mum sees it and her sister's like well you know we can't do anything about it now we can't cause a scene because yeah. all of these other kings and rulers are coming yeah, so yeah, that's one for Vi there. Yeah, <laughs> chalk <laughs> one up. Like that. Yeah, one for me. <laughs> so yeah, then we jump to the party because it's not a alliance meeting without a shindig, is it? No, that's it. Yeah, this is Faye. You've always got to have some revelry, haven't you? Yeah. It's like you there's got to be drinking and dancing yeah. and yeah, probably other stuff. Although not so much in this one. That's more the other Faye books I read. Well, yeah. <laughs> We have a we have like a bit at the beginning and a bit at the end, but it's still yeah. there. Hmm. So yeah, we jump to the party and who should appear? But he yes. he's got a fantastic title. I did write this down: yeah. Prince of Evernight, Lord of Whispers and Lies, Master of Darkness. Yes. You see, now this has had me giggling for quite a while. So every time it mentions it, it mentions the darkness. So <laughs> I've got this I thing. Mean, I mean, God <laughs> <laughs> Dude in spandex. <laughs> so yeah, every time oh, I'm like no. the darkness is upon him. <laughs> I did not ever think of that, and I'm so glad. <laughs> properly. Oh, the entire way. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. So yeah, the darkness is here. So yeah, he's brilliant. got a big old black cloak, and for a second yeah. he's kind of walking across the ballroom to her, and it swishes yeah. around him like a pair mm. of wings. Yeah. yeah, but it's there and then gone just for a second, mm-hmm. so it wasn't obviously just, just so you this. know. Yeah, and he comes over to talk to her, doesn't he? He like he does. makes a path straight for her, and she's you know she's not going to be nice to him. She is not inclined no. to be um, friendly at all. Um, she is her mother's daughter in this bit. 
Yeah, yeah. And it, but he sees her and he he speaks to her and she just notices that there's this moment where he looks disappointed when she like yeah. just turns and he's like, you know, who are you? And very dismissive. And he's, you know, a bit like, mm. oh, okay. But he Sad persists. Face. I did write one note, which was that he says he never says please. And I have to say, I'm not keen on that in hero. <laughs> Oh, you can you can be the prince of darkness, but manners. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I'm sorry. What what kind of stubbornness is that? Does not say please. It don't, it don't cost anything. What's the matter yeah. with you? <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, she's quite frosty and surly through most of the book. If you'd have tried, maybe she would have been a bit nicer. Maybe. Well, there we go. That would have been a lot shorter book. He would have just yeah. said, "There we go." Please, please. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's all fixed. But yeah, he kind of says, you know we're enemies but we don't have to be there's lots yeah. of that kind of stuff that he's mm. kind of he's in there trying to yeah. I don't know yes yeah, calm the seas a little bit because yeah yeah I'm really sure her that months. he's not gonna be this terrible ogre that's stealing her away nothing nothing bad is gonna happen to her nothing that she yeah. doesn't want to happen mm. will happen it's all on somebody's terms but yeah, yeah because yeah. It kind it's kind of mentioned that because she are when she argues that with her mum at the beginning, it's like, well, mm. is he not just gonna kill me? And she's like, Oh no, we've got one of his here, we've got yeah. a cousin. So anything happens to you mm. will kind of come back to haunt oh, him. That's so. a point, actually. Her mother also asks her when she's there to assassinate him, doesn't she? She yes. gives her a dagger. Oh, yeah. And Vi is like Oh yeah, that's a real. I know it's quite a big, big yeah, thing, but okay. there's a lot. There's a lot that happens. Yeah, there's so there. much. Um, and yeah, Vi's like, well, that's all nice, but if I stab him and I'm in the middle of his court, they're all just gonna kill me. I'm not gonna make it out if they're alive. And the mother's just like, well, you know, you're gonna do it for yeah. your country or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna prove well, yourself to me. And I think she said something about, well, if it's self defense, <laughs> she's like, well, okay. <laughs> How far am I supposed to go? Come on. Yeah, yeah. it's very much like you're just going to have to do what you need to do. Prove yourself to me, by because, you know, her mother's not happy with her. So, Come yeah, on. they've had so, that bit of time having a little bit of a chat, but, you know, she's she's pretty frosty. And then they have to have the proper meeting, don't they? Where there's like yes. the handover. There's, there is some political chit-chat. And we're introduced to the five. Yes. Oh, do we? Do we try? Who have I got written down? I have. No. <laughs> Who do I have? Okay, three? I have Moana of Isenbold, the Black Crow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have, I'm calling it Bladwin, the Merciless. Blade. I called her Bladewin. Blade, Blade. Blade. Only because, that. yeah, because she has the Sword of Mourning, doesn't she? Which she is does. like this, yeah. Her story is quite cool, but you don't hear, I don't think you hear most of it until a bit later to the end. Because she's one of the unseelie queens. Yes. Um, yeah, there are how many? Two or three unseely queens? There's two unseely. Two unseely queens, and then there's three seely queens and two princes. Mm-hmm. And it becomes yes. clear that it's it's matriarchal, like the magic it's, and the land is tied it, yeah, it to yeah passes through the maternal line. So the princes have yes. had to take their kingdoms by force. Yes. Uh, which Light. is why there are only princes, not kings, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, Bless them. And yeah, they're kind of like, they're hated for it, particularly by Vi's mother, because, you know, if there's a reason to hate someone, she hates them. So yeah. <laughs> that's it. Any excuse, really. Yeah. Oh, she is You're just venom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's not. I can't think of many nice things to say about the woman. Bless her. So, yeah, we have... Um, We've got one, we've got to say, Angharid. Uh, yeah, I think it's Angarid. Yeah. Angrid, whatever. Angrid. We'll go for Angrid. Angrid yeah. the Black. We have yeah. Luc- Lucidia, Queen of Ravenel. Lucidia, yeah. And yeah, we Maren. have Queen Maren. Maren. Yeah. And we have Kyrian and Thiago, who are yeah. our princes. Yeah, Two princes. princes, like the song, mm-hmm. if you're of a certain age. So, yeah, those are all the ones who come and they meet. Yeah, and they're clearly not not happy with each other. They don't trust a word that each other says, which is why it's quite handy. They've got, like, the sorcerer. Angered has a sorcerer, doesn't she? What's his name? Yes. Zem? Is Zem? Yes. Who can tell truth, apparently. I mean, I did wonder if he's her sorcerer. 
kind of up to him yeah. what he said <laughs> oh, I, I don't know say. yeah but that would just be even more <laughs> awkward are we gonna but believe it, him well he can tell yeah. the truth well so can I I like to do this but it's always that thing with the Faye because he mentions at one point I, I think Tiago says something and he's like that's true to what he believes it's like yes. it's not necessarily a truth you can you know it's and that's how Faye work a lot in books isn't it about this thing of not lying they mm-hmm. can't lie but they can say truths that you can be twisted yeah in a roundabout way yeah yeah you've got to be so careful with things like that and bargains and stuff I don't think there's anything much that happens at this which I noted down as relevant ongoing other than it just establishes that there's this enmity between them and yeah they're not friends they're not happy this this is not yeah not jolly times no, there's enemies to lovers, there's enemies to enemies, there's enemies to even bigger enemies. There's yes. parents to unpleasantness. There's many yeah. tropes. Mm-hmm. But we're only focusing on the romance one today. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we find out a little bit about where the tension comes from with Thiago and the mom, which is to do with his wife. Something happened yeah. and it's to do with her mother that he's lost his wife yeah so this is where it was to do with there's a rivalry between land which is missed me mm-hmm. where he wants some she wants some that's how it started originally yeah and then when Thiago married she took his wife in some in some yeah. way but and we don't know I just what... know yeah no, no nobody out of really all the knows. loops yeah, yeah but she's kind of trying to remember and know all of this because she's got to live with him for three months yeah so Definitely. yeah, we head off to the Hallows, which we mentioned mm-hmm. earlier, which is um, it's like a little stone end, really. Yeah, and they're all placed on ley lines. The ley lines are a big thing, so they're at these these central points of power on the ley lines, um, and they can also they discovered quite handily after they lock the old ones in them that they can also be used as portals, which is Ooh. very handy. And I don't think all of the Hallows have had an old one locked in them. I think once they realised they could do that, they, like, you know, built some more, put some new stations on the underground type of thing. Yeah, so so I've got 23 exist in Sealy, but only 16 of them are working now. So, yeah, any places that didn't work. I love it. (laughs) I write down numbers. Yeah, we're at the Hallow. Mm -hmm. We are with all the people of Evernight. Yeah. So they can only send so many emissaries with them. So obviously they can't have some massive hostile takeover. So there's not Mm. loads of them. We get to the hollow and there is uh, glyphs all over it. I did notice the glyphs made me smile because there's always glyphs in an old language. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, And they always need blood. Yes. Always has to be blood. Does. I guess so, it's know, readily that is how available. I activate them. Well, yeah, it is, but not got a pin code or anything like that. It couldn't have been like lick or anything. I could feel it? like it I want to write that down. Yeah. Oh, my oh, it'd be gross though, wouldn't it? To be fair, <laughs> I think if it's like it's it's much more dramatic. Like, let me slice my thumb and squeeze it. Rather, well, let me just gob on this stone. <laughs> and everybody, yeah, no, not nice. <laughs> You see, that would work with the siblings because weird things like that would happen. Your sister would lick the wrong one that you have to touch, and you're <laughs> you like, well, "I'm not disappear. touching it now." Yeah. <laughs> What's happened to your sister? Oh, she's yeah, she licked the wrong stone again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Sorry. we're at the Hallow with mm. with Evernight, and they're all ready to go. He cuts his hand. They're ready. He's chanting some words, yeah. and there's like a. Is there a noise? She catches something, doesn't she? Yeah, she and hears she something. Mm-hmm. And there's an assassin with his, he's got a knife. So she kind yeah. of gets in the way as a bit of a fight, gets cut in the process. Yeah. And yeah, it's by a deathbound blade, which we find out yeah. is really not good. It's, it's mm. like poisonous. It's yeah. worse than poison. It's cursed. So she just reacts on instinct. She just, yes. you know, considering that she's been tasked with killing him, it would have been very easy to just let him be yeah, killed. Dog. But um, no, she she reacts on instinct and pushes him out of the way and takes the blade herself. And yeah, it's like within... The, I guess they travel through the portal at that moment, don't they? Because they're at the other end and it's clear that she's been poisoned. And then... Um, but he heals her, doesn't he? He's he able does, he to can. use his darkness i'm not gonna be able to say it now 
<laughs> uses the darkness yeah. to, to, to draw Justin the poison. Justin arrives. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and he draws the poison out because she doesn't think it's not something you're meant to be able to heal in the normal yes. world. They can heal each other. It is a gift, but, but not with this kind curses of curses and stuff. So yeah. yeah, there's always there's little hints to like, okay, that's not mm. right. It's that's yeah. not seely. Yeah, because he's rumored to be unseely, but he, he he just like he's like, no, I'm definitely seely. Yeah, got on the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> not me. No, what you're talking about? Yeah. Asism. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would be easy, wouldn't it? Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, he heals her, takes her back to his castle. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he has, he kind of has two lands. He has, yeah. um, I want to say Ceres, Ceres and Valerian. I think I put it as, yeah, Valerian. So one's yeah. kind of, yeah. So Valerian is where he takes her and it's quite snowy and empty. And we find yeah. out why that's quite useful. And it was run. an old Seely territory, wasn't it? It's right on the border yes. of the Seely territories and there's like, it sounds really cool. I love the description of it with the wraiths that like dance around the ballroom. Yes, swirl it's around. Like, filled with ghosts and things like that. And it's freezing cold. Apart from handily, they ward the castle. So it's not as cold in the castle. Yes, it is really useful. Need that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he takes her to the room and she's like, she's looking at the only one bed. Yeah, yeah, and totally. And, like, she, yeah. and she assumes it's his room, doesn't she? Yeah. She's like, right, no, you're not, you're not getting me yeah. for that. Well, my husband. And he's like, like yeah. calm down, love. This isn't my bedroom. This is yours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, come I on. Just, I was just showing you to your room. <laughs> yeah, but then they kind of have a, a <clears throat> barter, don't they? They have a bit of a chat, yeah. and they kind of like, what do you want? What are you gonna offer yeah, for yeah. me? And yeah. she's like, okay, well, I've got nothing to give, really. So how about a kiss? <laughs> it's so fun. funny. Like, even when I read this, the first time I, was, I read this scene and I was like, bye. This is not, he, he in no way really sets this up. She like, she totally yeah, plucks just, this idea. This, this is your subconscious lady. You are yeah. looking at him. He's this massive. Tall, like, dark. Yeah, tall, dark, handsome, full of muscles. Nice. And she's like, Ugh okay if you must have a kiss every day but that's yes. it yeah. <laughs> yeah and I won't remember it every day that I've not done it or anything Mm-mm. no exactly and and he, they make it very clear that it's like he, he can only take what she gives you know he yes. can't move yeah he's it all he's all consent isn't he yeah it's always yeah. on your terms mm-hmm. yeah he doesn't but then you think well, I, I will say, but then she gets into the bed and it just smells like him. So he's obviously been on it like a dog and then he's just oh. like rolling around in it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't pick up on that bit. But fair yeah, she puts her head on the pillow and she breathes in and it's like, it just stinks like him. Mm-hmm. What has he been doing in there waiting for her to come well, along? <laughs> well, oh my. Oh. See, my mind didn't go there, which is obvious. <laughs> oh, you That's not. just you, that. That's <laughs> all on you, that, Missy. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, quickly, quickly. So, yeah. yeah, we wake up with her the next day. She's in Evernight, um, mm-hmm. and she goes for an explore, as yeah. she would do. So, yeah, this is where she kind of finds the ballroom with the race sort mm-hmm. of going around, yeah. and... She kind of she catches something as she's walking through, and there's like a little slip of paper. Yeah, so she goes up and kind of mm. yeah, she plucks it out. So what does it say? To to escape, find out what happened to the king's wife, the king, the prince's yeah. wife, and trust Princess your wife. instincts. And it's kind of it's a very similar um, Asturian hand. It looks like her writing. Yeah, so she's like, she okay. says you can tell it's like a feminine hand. Yeah. And, um, yeah. She thinks so. She's like, okay, is how many how many birds have we had back here? And you start to get this like bluebird feeling, bluebird, blue beard feeling, don't you? And then she comes across him again, Mm -hmm. and he wants to spa with her. He's like, you know, I'm sure you'd enjoy having a sparring, um, you know, with swords and things. But she doesn't want to do that. She's keeping her distance a lot, isn't she? Bless her. Yeah, and um. Yeah, there's a little bit of that that goes on, isn't there? It's this this period where they are there together, but she's keeping her distance. He's like trying. Yeah, he's to like, let's interest. go riding. Come out yeah. with me. And she's, she's like, like no, no. no if you're giving me a choice, the choice is no. 
um and the kisses she's keeping just she does the kiss chat. every yeah just that's it she'll give him a little little peck and then she oh goes. but I love his descriptions he's always kind of he's usually sat in those little yeah. ones and his hands <laughs> are kind of like tearing at the wood in the chair yeah, yeah. arms <laughs> yeah and she's kind of I think she notices the power and the control mm. that she has over it yeah. and he kind of he does he never moves she's kind of liking that isn't she yeah damn straight yeah so yeah uh, but I've then she just gets past. bored doesn't she yeah. yeah yeah three days passed there's nothing gone on she's mm-hmm. bored now <laughs> yeah <Pretty much. laughs> and he rides off but it goes like in a different direction to, he nor- to where he normally does. Yeah, he goes north, doesn't he? Yeah. So she and he's going really fast. He's like not just gone out for a hunt. He's like, oh, it looks off. like he's late for something. So mm-hmm. she decides to just follow him. Yeah, gets a horse. Um, we've not mm-hmm. mentioned Iris yet, but Iris is there. So oh, Iris yeah. is one of his um one yeah, of yeah. his crew, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Where are you going?" And she's like, "Off, going." She's pretty she much the, the horse only pelt. Yeah, she's like the only, the only person, person there. Is there. Yeah, like guarding her kind of thing. And she's this renowned, formidable warrior who sounds terrifying. She's like terrifying. Brienne, isn't she? She's Brienne of Tarth. Yeah. She is, that yeah, is who I saw. Yeah, she's very like, yeah. She doesn't seem to like Vi at all. Which no, is, she doesn't, know, bless her. Fine, bye, bye. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. As many enemies as she can keep. Yeah. So yeah, she jumps on the horse um, mm-hmm. and she follows him along and she kind of finds him, sort of leaves the horse where she is. There's a mm-hmm. lot of snow. Yeah. So she kind of creeps along and tries to keep out of the way because obviously that's, yeah, anybody who's got kids will know that it's not difficult to find them in snow. Nope. Um, so, yeah, she kind of watches him and he's kind of pacing like he's waiting for somebody. Somebody's late. He's kind of quite agitated. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, and then a dude arrives and it's pretty much obvious quite quickly he's he's unseely he's not yeah and so she's like really suspicious well why is you know the prince of evernight meeting with someone unseely um yes and so she listens in and they're having this chat about the goblins aren't they and the banes and raids that are happening across the borders um and it becomes clear that he's like a spy for Tiago Someone. in Angarad's court, yeah. I would say, because yeah. he says it's his queen, isn't he? He doesn't want his queen yes. to find out. But they're also, they also have a conversation about her, don't they? Yes. It's not a nice <laughs> one. It was a very confusing conversation, bless her. It's like, yeah. how is it? He needs to um, play this game where he has to seduce a haughty princess is how yeah. the, woo, the, woo, the haughty, yeah. arrogant princess. Yeah, you have to keep playing this to, to win back his wife. Yes. And it's like, how how does this happen? How is the how are these two things connected? And she's really not best pleased about it at all. Yeah. Because it seems obvious. Because we know who that is. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and they also, um, they oh God, here we go. Now okay, there is. Let's not use it. No, no, no. We're looking for say, something. Child yeah. of Destiny. Yes, thank you. Is, is what Big they're tick. looking for. You knew what I yes. was going to say. Oh, there was no way I was I've touching. Got so many that pronunciation at all. No. Yeah. So they're apparently they're looking for something. Now, to be fair, at this stage, you only get the Celtic pronounced sounding yes. words. Yeah, it's like a myth. We can't say. Don't yes. Know. Um, and so she's like, sending out creature, creatures yeah. called the Heartless to try yeah. and find these things. Mm-hmm. So they are they're called fetches, which, yeah. as as it says on the tin, yeah, they like a don't retriever. have hearts and they it's, fetch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So they are under her control and they will yeah. do anything that she wants. So they are out looking for this child mm-hmm. of destiny. Yeah, but we don't know that's what it is at this stage. But it's clear no. that Tiago knows. Or he thinks he knows what he that means. He translates it, he thinks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, as as it would be, the snow falls and catches her right down her collar. And she, yeah. yeah. Ooh, she gets caught out, bless her. Yeah, yeah he's on to her. The, the spy goes and Tiago's you know, like, right, I've got to deal with this. Yeah, <laughs> I can't go across, so I've got to go up. Because yeah. yeah, snow is unforgiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, she tries to get away. 
uh, goes up over the trees, manages to get to her horse, but he yeah. catches her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just, just think, as she's about going. to go on it, gives it a whack and off it goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It calls it, doesn't it? And it just goes. <laughs> yeah. And then they wrestle. Because so, yeah. you've got to have do. a bit of that. A bit of resting. Yes. Enemies to lovers with a fantasy quite often there's a bit of that and there's a and there's a dagger pulled which again yeah (laughs) it sounds like a euphemism but it's not yeah yeah her dagger not his yes her dagger not his um but he you know he overpowers her he's quite a lot bigger um but she um, throws the words back at him, doesn't she? She's like, oh, yeah. what were you talking about? How much mm. did you hear? And she's like, I heard the thing about the wooing the haughty princess. Yeah. And so I know what you're up to. Nothing's going to yeah. work now. Um, yeah, also, he, he, yeah. has a, he has a proper moment of going, oh. <laughs> like, has to think <laughs> about what he's just said. What did I just yeah. say? Oh, no. Oh, it's like, I'll tell you. Yeah, like when you've been talking about someone and you realise they're behind you. It's <laughs> that cringe yeah. moment. What did I say? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, how much did you hear? Yeah. But no, he, she got the gist of that bit. Yeah. But she wins out, doesn't she? Because once, even though she's, like, pinned, she throws him off guard by giving him the kiss that he's yes. owed every day. <laughs> so he's like, he just gets distracted. And off she and goes. She shoves. She shoves snow down his shirt, which yeah. made me smile. And then yeah, takes his horse. It was brilliant. <laughs> That's it. She's like, enjoy your walk back. Good job you yeah. sent mine off, wasn't it? You yeah. regret that. <laughs> it, yeah, it takes him four hours to get back and she stands and waits yeah. and watches as he Which walks I did through. wonder about later on. What, like, why? Why did it take him four hours to four walk hours. back? Yeah. Why did he walk back? But anyway, we'll <laughs> figure yeah. that out later on. His cloak was a bit snowy. But he didn't seem um, he didn't seem upset when he got back, did he? Somehow no, he looked he didn't. kind of pleased by the whole thing. It was like, why? Why are you pleased yeah. about that? Do you like a nice stroll in the snow? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think she kind of thinks she's got a bit of one-upmanship there. She yeah, goes back yeah. to a room, and then there's another note on a pillow. And she's yeah, like, actually on the bed, and no one's supposed yeah. to go in there apart yeah. from he's oh, not she's been got in a key, there. Yeah. No, she's yeah. the only one with a key, supposedly. Mm. And somehow um, there's so notes on the bed. Yeah, not all as it seems. Stay close to the prince and push him. Mm. Yeah. Um, he won't maintain his charade for long. He wants his wife. Right. Yeah. So she decides to do that and stick with mm-hmm. him. And they're going to go off to Mistmere. He's like, he's like mm-hmm. saddling up his horse isn't he to go off and she's yes. like ah where are you going I want to come with you and he's like all right then she yes. was expecting he's... some fight <laughs> and he's like yeah, yeah right. and it's like okay yeah what are you after then and he's like oh yeah. well you know you said you wanted to come and she's like okay and then I think it goes a bit back and forth doesn't it and he's like yeah, oh, right, yeah. pack all your things do that do that and yeah he's like, it's gonna why, be cold. why are you here what yeah what yeah. are you after nothing <laughs> <laughs> just dancing around each other yeah yeah pretty well, much and being straightforward you wanted to come you're coming what's the problem yeah. here yeah um, it was too easy yeah. but yeah so she goes and she gets all of her bits and pieces but she didn't pack for snow no so no. she goes back out with the warmest stuff that she's got mm-hmm. and he's like yeah you're gonna freeze to death yeah. you've got to ward yourself use mm-hmm. your magic cover yourself because once you're outside yeah. the palace it will be cold Mm-hmm. And then we kind of find out something that's um, quite, it's quite a thing for her. Yeah. That she, she, she has magic, but it's really, it's small. She doesn't, yeah. she can't do much with it. She can't control no. it really. Considering and, yeah, she's the princess of such a powerful yeah. queen. She's yeah. like, she's a disappointment in that area. She doesn't know how to yeah. ward. She's the number one. Yeah. She's just like, she, it, and she leans towards like fire. Yeah. But that's that's all she can really do. And it's not huge and impressive. It's just yeah. Like your fag kind of thing for you, you know. <laughs> You're just like <"Ding." laughs> saying that a few years ago, that would have been quite useful. Yeah. Um so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they do that. Um he wards her, so he comes yeah. up and he touches her to kind mm. of put his wards on her. And she's kind of like, okay, that feels familiar that's a bit of a noticeable yeah. thing but yeah. she kind of pushes it off a bit and mm-hmm. yeah just yeah just goes with it 
and then they find out yeah where they're going they're going to Mistmere, which is the disputed land kind of between yeah. him and her mom mm. and it's then borders with the unseelies yeah so yeah it's a, it's an interesting place for them to be going which is obviously yeah. linked back to the chat that he was having with his little spy earlier yeah so this is like kind of where they think they're all um they've been hanging around in that area of the border it's an abandoned yeah. place now in the wars it was like yeah it got defeated and abandoned and they can't decide who could take ownership of it whether it's Evernight or what is it Ast- Astoria Astor- Astoria Astoria that'll do with that yeah yeah mm. that'll do pig so yeah, yeah um she's quite shocked that they're going there and he's mm. like, we, we think she's doing something there. We need to go and figure out what's going on. We need to go and see what she's yeah. got there. And this is the like, unseelie okay. queen, isn't it? Yeah. He's yeah. like, you, you need more people. You can't just go by yourself. And he's like, mm. yeah, I can. I'm an army. I am an army. Yeah, that's yeah. confidence, isn't it? Yes. And she's like, you're so arrogant. <laughs> yeah, she's like, all right, that's fine. You're red, not see mine, it then. Right? Yeah, and off yeah. they go. Yes. And they're kind of like one out. upping each other, aren't they? The whole way. Yeah, for the whole thing. <laughs> like yeah, going through the tunnel. tunnel. Yeah, they arrive and they go through the tunnel. And it's like, I'll just walk behind you because of the view. And she's yeah. like, well, it's dark in the tunnel. You can't see anything from back there anyway. <laughs> oh, bless. But yeah, is that where she's... Okay, so they, they fight in the snow. I found one of my best insults. A pig fucking merciless prick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she got- I thought that was noteworthy. Yes. And then he slaps her on the arse. That really yeah. makes her even worse. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, um, yeah, so they're around when they're near Miss Me and I've got the ground starts to shake when they get there. Yeah, yeah, that does happen. Like, because he's going to dump her in the water, isn't he? The icy water. Mm-hmm. And, like, she's so she's so angry at him. Um, and then he just, he just drops her and walks off to get on with what they're there for. And... Yeah, the ground starts shaking. Like, and yeah, it's this kind of moment. It doesn't feel connected to her, but it does. She can feel the power of it. And there's been these little moments at the hallows as well, where she's felt like a, she said, Oh, did you feel that? There's this power yes. thing. And he's like, No, there's there's nothing. No, no I don't know what you're talking about. But some some are some are more sensitive though. So maybe that's just that. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, he kind of thinks. Yep. So yeah, so, <clears throat> and then they. But yeah, they get to Miss Mia. Yep. So mm-hmm. they go through the hollow. They get there, and yeah, they're trying to get into the city to see what's going on. Yeah. It's like, well, how are so, we yeah, going to do that? Like, they can see from a distance that there are guards there. On yes. they can see bangs, can't they? On the yes. on the walls, um, patrolling. So, like, how are we going to get in? That's where this tunnel comes up. And how does he know about the tunnel? Because he used yes. it. He was there. Yeah. He was trying to help evacuate the people that were there. Yes. And she was like, well, no one survived. No, they didn't because they got out the city. But then they only got, like, so far into the forest and they were massacred. Before they were. Yeah. Sent. Yeah. So that you find out then that there's a bit of backstory about how he came to be mm. there. So he was yeah. the the warlord for the last queen yeah the queen that he's why he was there know, taken over from yeah so yeah but there's more about that later so mm-hmm. so yeah they get there and <laughs> seriously the earl king's hairy balls are mentioned oh, so many times they are. He needs, it is he the honorable mention for that definitely it is the go-to like bollocks type saying in it it's like that yeah, like, any, any time balls. you would say bollocks like, oh, it's, it's Earl King's hairy bollocks yeah. <laughs> which is just not yeah I it's, was gonna say it's quite specific puts quite an image in your head <laughs> well when when you kind of keep being told about these old ones um, yeah there's these these epic figures the massive yeah. larger than life people and it's his balls that we're talking about it's, yeah there's some images there, I have to be honest. There are, definitely. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, they move into Miss Mia and they need yeah. to get in close. So they need to, to see exactly what's going on. So they start yeah. weaving through the city and they get mm-hmm. collared, or they start being followed by a bane. Yeah. 
and it's kind of he loiters onto the scent so they climb yeah. up onto a roof and this is kind of you start to see a bit more of his powers the shadows start to kind of move and draw the the creature yeah. away he sends like an illusion off doesn't he to yeah, yeah show that yeah so yeah they kind of distract that mm-hmm. and then kind of move a little bit closer and they see that they're starting to resurrect the old hallow so the stones are going up and um, they're being moved around by like massive trolls and things like that getting it yes rebuilt and, and like why are they doing yeah that? yeah why is doing it why is she there mm. and her banner is flying and yeah. Isam, her yeah her sorcerer is there mm-hmm. loitering around yeah and this so, is yeah, the there's... um the hallow where they trap the mother of night mother of night yeah yes so the only reason they can think they're doing it is because they want to resurrect her yeah and bring her forth and they're and they're a bit confused about that because angered was like she worshipped the horned one who was meant to be like the real he was the one that kind of led the whole the whole war yeah he's but taking yeah, he's over like the stuff. king. He's the king of the old. Yeah, he's, he's the big not. daddy, isn't he? Wouldn't she want him instead? Why are they doing Mother of Night? This doesn't quite make sense. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah, exactly. they realise that this isn't good. They have to get mm-hmm. back and tell the rest yeah. of the alliance what the hell's going on to stop mm-hmm. her. Yeah. So they start moving away, and yeah, unfortunately, you've got these creatures like dogs around. And they, mm-hmm. they catch them, they find they find their scent and they follow. Yeah, they're on they're on their trail and they and they're getting closer and closer. They're having to, yeah, properly leg it. Um mm-hmm. through the food like ankle deep snow, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, deep snow? she's really not very fast snow. at it. She's she's trying and she pitches forward and she's about to go in this massive trap that's obviously like been trap. set. Yeah, a bane trap. He jumps in the way, basically. Yeah pushes her yeah. out the way and it it sounds enormous this thing yes. i was trying to figure it like out a, like a bear trap but for like a yeah. werewolf kind of thing it's yeah it goes right yeah. through his chest doesn't it exactly yeah it's like it's right huge. through the chest she can't open it because it's iron and they can't yes. touch iron yes. it burns <laughs> I was like, yeah and he's like you've got to go because they're now circling like they're they're around yeah. she can tell that they're they're closing in he's like i've got a cabin in the woods get to it it's warded get to it now yeah but she won't leave him no Um, and she prizes him out she uses her hands and it starts to burn her and she's trying then she gets some wood and tries to do that and yeah in the end she's kind of like yeah but he's a mess on it yeah when he gets out and it's kind of too late they're already there they're surrounded by these banes and there's like it looks absolutely like curtains for them Mm -hmm. so he he says, I'm going to do something. Yeah. He's yeah. Do you him. trust me? Yeah. Yeah. And she's and like, he calls for. Not really? No, no, no. But <laughs> we'll go for it. But yeah, you did save me. So we'll, sure. we'll give you a something. And yeah. they call forth the darkness. Which are from these riffing tattoos. You can see because he's all torn. He's all shirts yeah. and So they start torn. crawling over his skin. His skin yeah. It's all blackness. Which is another like link to the last one, isn't it? It's- they're not golden ones. We've had golden tattoos in the last we two, have. haven't we? We've got no. black tattoos. Yeah, but Tribal. these ones are black. And they move around and they release these creatures. She doesn't see what they are. She's just like curled into his chest, absolutely terrified. And it's like he yeah. said, it's it's just like an army of these demons or something. These things, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, come oh. to me, do not fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have to stay here and with me, and that mm-hmm. sort of becomes clear. She kind of does. She tries to fight the banes away. Yeah, and yeah, the darkness. I should stop saying that. These creatures, kind of, yeah, they come and they just totally destroy the banes. They just, yeah, it's, they're, there's they're not much. They left. start. No, they, they start, start to have a sniff around her, her, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Like, so mm. she's fighting off the banes, trying to help, and then these creatures are like, "Oh, hello, precious." They kind of—I think I wrote—they're like a bit like Gollum. They're like, "Oh, yeah, precious, you get a little, little tasty, bit of that tasty, sound, don't you?" Yeah. yeah, and it was just like, "Oh, he has to like get them back under control yes. so that yeah, they he struggles don't to pull them back in." But he's weak, isn't he, at that stage because he's been so badly injured. So, um, so she helps with that somehow. Instinctively, she like cozies up. 
she motivates him to save her yeah. rather yeah, than yeah you said you'd keep me safe yeah exactly and it, yeah yeah and, and then, then uh, uh, i think does she kiss him again yeah. i think she kisses him to pull him back That's and then it. the darkness it disappear yeah like 2005 <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Only till we the, appear at Eurovision. Yeah, this is like an allegory of the. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so, um, he's, he's an absolute mess. Mm-hmm. He's covered in all sorts of blood and bites and holes, yeah. and he collapses. And she's kind yeah. of. It was a real Terminator moment for me. She's trying to really pull him up. Come on, on your feet. Get up. Get yeah. Up. And yeah, we need to move. And the cold mm-hmm. is is settling in because yeah. his wards that he's covered her with are now mm. failing. So she then, yeah, yeah, she drags him. She like wraps him up oh, in his cloak. Pestilence vibes. It is, and and it's like oh. where she's dragging him and she's just cursing him out the entire way. It's yeah, not, like just you know, just the she's determined though. It is. It's that vibe, yeah. isn't it? Of, I'm gonna get you there. Even though you're a pain yeah. in the ass kind of thing. Yeah, yeah don't you yeah, dare die. save me. I can't kill yeah. you now. And she finds his cabin, even though he didn't yeah. really give her any instructions. Yeah. She's it's like, oh, thank two miles God. that way. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I just happened to pick the right path. Okay, brilliant. I'll take it. Lovely. And she gets in there. And, of course, he's very cold. And you know what has to happen in romance books when someone is very Only cold. Only one blanket. Only, only one blanket and no clothes. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. she's hot and he's cold. And yeah, yeah I think she's kind of like, seriously, you can't die because you'll miss the fact that you've got me into bed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that well done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she tries to warm him up. But he takes like quite a few days. He's yeah. like proper out of it because it's not just that he's wounded. It's also that it's iron. So he's poisoned by the iron too. And he's had to use all his power to pull his... his yeah shadow back into him as well and they're not really supposed to heal themselves she tries to heal him she can only do like one wound can't she and like seal it a little bit with like her fire cauterizing it but she can't really do it so he's had to do it and use all his energy so he's like proper out for the count yeah a good few days but yeah he kind of i think there's a moment on one of the days he wakes up and he's like yeah you know you saved me and she's like oh yeah just don't die on me now you didn't leave me yeah. and he's like well just don't leave me again don't yeah. leave me yeah and she's like okay he's yeah he's like really not doing great when he's at that yeah. stage and it, and it feels like he's she thinks doesn't she is he confusing me with yeah with his, his wife, wife or just latching on to me you know because he misses her so much or something yeah and then and then he wakes up properly and he's back to yeah. him, isn't he? he's fine <laughs> he's fine just stripping off but yeah, <laughs> yeah then he starts to heal himself doesn't he that's what you say yeah so they kind of yeah there's a there's a very notable switch there that it's kind yeah. of i think she's like we're not really enemies anymore he's done yeah nothing that my mother said he would yeah. do yeah she has he's that becoming... moment of clarity doesn't she where yeah. it's like well he saved me from this trap why would he do that if he was out to hurt me what purpose is that or even if he is enemies with her He's not using me in a bad way. I'm not yeah. seeing anything that really holds up against what I've heard from my mother kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. and I've got here that if, yeah, and she kind of thinks that if it was her mum and they'd mm. done all this attack and everything and she'd failed, yeah, she wouldn't be treated the way that he's treating her. She would be not in a good place. Exactly. Oh, oh and yes, Finn um, arrives at the cabin. Yes. So, yeah, he's getting better and he's yeah. there and then Finn's there. We do like, like Finn. Finn. Finn's one of he's his friends. Finn. Yeah, who's and like, we can say his name. We can. <laughs> Maybe that's why we like Finn. <laughs> he's like got an easy name. Yeah. yeah, easy charm, easy name. Yeah, he's he's very charming and flirty. It's so yeah. They get themselves back to the castle, and she's in her rooms. Her mother appears in the flames, in the doesn't fire. she? And and it's not a good conversation. She's like, "Why no. is he still alive?" And she's like, yeah, well, your dagger's not been unsheathed yet. Yeah, how do you know that? Oh my god, creepy yeah. mother. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and then she kind of just puts it down there, don't you? Like, if you don't mm. get it done, just don't bother answering yeah. me again. I'll don't be... answer my summons. Exactly, you'll be disowned. But she tells her, Vi tells her about um, oh, what, what they saw, and yeah, mm-hmm. what they saw and what's going on. 
but her mother's quite dismissive of it. She doesn't care. She just cares about getting, you know, Tiago assassinated. Um, yeah, she said, oh, yeah, she's, she sealed the accords with everybody else. She used her blood, yeah. so it's rubbish, yeah. really. And even though Vi's like, well, I saw it with my own eyes. Something's definitely happening. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, yeah. He's 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 all lies and illusions. Yeah, he's already illusions. you're already under his spell. So yes, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh god, her mom's an awful woman. So yeah, she goes downstairs and mm-hmm. she hears people having a chat and yeah. she hears about the other seat and that they're gonna go to Sarah's. Yeah. But she yeah. she needs to be blindfolded to go. <laughs> yeah. Kinky fuckery there. Yeah. Well, come on. Uh-huh. And I think it's they have this conversation. She, I wrote down about her um, overhearing this thing about not do like them worrying about him being weakened and being vulnerable while he's weak and holding off their enemies. And they worry about people knowing. He's like, well, no one knows, and we can keep it secret. I'm okay. Um, and then they're like, very like Eris is very much like, yes, yeah, she knows. The princess knows. And he's like, it's fine. You can trust her. I know you can trust her. She's got a conscience. She's not like her mother. She overhears it. She's like, he's very sure about what I'm like. He really knows my character. But also we've seen that he's right because she didn't mention that when she talked to her mother, even though she told her about what happened at Miss Mir. She didn't mention about him being wounded and ill. So, So it's proven right. So yeah, so they go there. We meet Baylor and yes. her cousin. Hit her cousin, his cousin Thalia. That'll do. Sounds there nice. we go. Yeah. So she thought that Thalia was gonna be the one to stay behind. Yeah, she has a little when moment. She of came over. There. Yeah, because yeah. they thought, said Who is he, staying, he's just like, it must be another cousin. You know, yeah. people do well, have more than one up. cousin. Fair enough. Yeah. So um, yeah, so she's lurking around, and I think she gets she she goes in, and we meet mm. Baylor. He, he looks, looks exactly like the Bane that her yeah. sister killed. Page yeah. one, and they're talking about it as well, aren't they? Like him being missing. Yeah, where is he? Yeah, yeah. his name is like, like Sandra. Oh, I'll be fine. It's yeah. been it's been a while, but he'll be fine. He's always yeah, fine. He always year. comes back, and she's like, "Oh my god, no, he's not, not going to come time. back. He's dead." Stop. And so she legs it and she from the room. Mm-hmm. She just like goes white as a sheet and disappears. Yeah. Oh, I wrote this down. She said that, um, but she notices it's like an army of misfits. It reminded me of the yeah. Goonies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All of these different people coming together. Yeah. There are these lovely yes. little moments when they have all this clan together, which is quite like an important thing about her warming to him as well, because he does seem to have collected this. All these most trusted advisors are yeah, like merry band. Yeah, are, are like kind of tormented and would be outcast from other areas. Eris is like seen as the devourer, and she's like yeah, terrifying. This big epic thing. Yeah, no one wants her, and you know, obviously, Baylor is one of these bangs that is an unseen i mean yeah i think it's just known isn't it that they're unseen yes. um yeah they're created yeah. by dark magic so they're exactly and she's like okay he's just he's welcomed all these in. and and she like looks at them all chatting and they're all like friendly ribbing and banter she's like this is so different to my mother's court this is not yes. how it's run <laughs> you know but these people mm-hmm. all trust each other and care about each other um and that's yeah, she she really has that moment, doesn't she? This is much mm. nicer. I like it here, kind of. You know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's really different. But yes, yeah, she mm. goes to her room and she's brought the amulet with her and she's kind mm. of got that there. And she starts to feel a little bit trapped. I've got that she's there yeah. and she misses her sister. And yes, yeah, seeing all yeah. these people interacting with each other, everything mm-hmm. kind of hits her a little bit. Yeah. But then Talia comes to her room and I put yay because mm. she brings her dinner yeah like the most what more do you dinner. need yeah she's a friend for life she arrives with dinner and she does she it's feels dinner. like this immediate yeah, like a, warmth with her yeah that yeah she's missing her sister and then this woman comes and she's kind of nice and chatty and yeah. she's like you know you looked a bit scared when you saw Baylor. he's mm. nice he's a he's got kittens in his in his yeah. room yeah yeah oh bless him he's like he looks yeah. after the kittens yeah, he's like head of the general of the armies and everything. Yeah. He's like, but nobody knows he's got a little stack of kittens under his oh, bed no. that he's feeding. And then we get of more have... of her story as well. Yeah. Oh, I love her story too. Yeah. Again, another mismatch. That's it. She's like 
partly salt kissed and the salt kissed are some they, they you know they sound like sirens kind of vicious type mermaid sirens yeah she's she's like part salt kissed but she had a rough life until yes Thiago sort of found her and brought her in and everything yeah they they have a barter between her grandmother and Vi's mum, don't they? Yeah, and yeah. What they <laughs> Who's did. the worst one? Who sounds awful? And like, and she's quite, Tali's quite, um, she's quite adamant. No, no, your mum really is worse. If you knew yeah. the things yeah. I knew yeah. about your mother, yeah. she's worse. Yeah, she's like, oh, so you were alive then? So she's like, yeah. So she was there 500 years ago as yeah, Diago was yeah. as well. So, um, mm-hmm. and she's like chatting. She goes, well, you were there. Do you know how he met his wife? Yeah. And when it was. And she's like, mm-hmm. oh, you should probably talk about it with him. And she's like, I just yeah. want to know when. And she's mm-hmm. like, well, 13 years ago, it mm-hmm. happened at Lammas Tide. And she's yeah. like, oh, I was probably only seven then. So I don't yeah. really remember. She's only that. meant to be like 20 inch <laughs> Yeah, she was supposed to be like 20. And hmm. yeah, they met at Lammas Tide. So yeah, it's hmm. supposed to be every 13 years. So this would be like the yeah. only the second time that she's mm-hmm. been to it. Because she served a little bit as a ladies maid in somebody's court a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, her mm-hmm. life is quite short compared to all the others who were, yeah. you know, 500 plus. Yeah, they were all part of the wars and they understood who the old ones were and what they were like and all these, everything that's gone on. She's She's really young in comparison. But yeah, I think Thalia's there kind of greasing her cousin's wheels a little bit. Yeah. And chatting yeah. about it and saying, you know, you know, he did love his wife. He he will never stop loving yeah. his wife, but it's a renewable thing, you know. You can't just mm. say it yeah. was there and it's never gonna come again. So, yeah, you know. it's not it's not gone forever. If he can do it once, he can love again. Do it again. Yeah. And she's kind they of like, also yeah. mention about um it being, it's like confirmed it was her mother that took his wife and they're yes. like and she's like well yeah. do they know what happened and like we don't know for sure it's like she only ever sent back pieces of her and it's like yeah. whoa all right yeah. then ouch yeah. so that she kind of sees them on a friendly terms but then she's mm. like you've got to sleep because we're calling the alliance together tonight yeah. to yeah. tell them what we found so mm-hmm. yeah and they've been so busy when they arrived that she doesn't get a kiss either, does she? And she kind no, of misses so she, it. Yeah, mm-hmm. she remembers. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. it. Like you said, these kisses that she feels obligated to do, but she seems to remember about a lot. Yeah, weirdly that. So, yeah, they go and she meets up for the Alliance meeting and mm. there's six chairs there, which she's a little bit miffed at because there's only five yeah. leaders yeah. who should so be why, there. Why is that? And he's like, this one's for yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a chat, and she's like, "Why? What? Where?" And he's like, "Bye. It's just a chair. Come on, just, just, t- just sit down, love. Sit down, Come on, not love. everything's on. a fight. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why am I sitting there? Because you're a witness. Why are you trying to turn my mother against me? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I chair. see. You're making me the poor, are you? But she's yeah. quite happy. I mean, she's already told her mother all this, so it really is yeah. like she's arguing it for the sake really of arguing. Matter. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her. Yeah. So yeah, they start to appear. Yeah, her mother's there, and as soon as she sees that Vi is sat there, she's like, "Why is she here? This, yeah, this is this is not... alliance. Mm-hmm. No." And the other prince doesn't come, and he's like the only yeah, ally not there. Yeah, yeah, that, he's, that, yeah, he's like that he's that got, and he just doesn't turn up because yeah. he hates them all so much. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, give him 10 minutes. And they're like, no, he knew the time. He didn't show. Let's yeah. start. <laughs> oh. Like a PTA meeting. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they kind of argue the toss and she's like, she's a witness. She's here. She's she's a mm-hmm. right to be here because yeah. they're resurrecting the hallow yeah. in Mist. And there's kind of a lot of talk over her as well. And they talk about this yes. game that's being played and she's getting really... Yes pissed off at it because they're yes. talking like she's I'm, not there yeah and she doesn't the really understand yeah really understand what they're talking about it's not funny she's a person <laughs> so they do kind of move on to the subject and it's like very clear that the queens are just going to gang up and disregard anything he says they say that he created illusions and you know yeah. we're flags the moving, moving look at little yeah, details yeah. yeah i don't bloody remember if the panel yeah. was moving i no, knew there was moving. a load of banes that yeah. chased me yeah. <laughs> yeah. it wasn't great 
yeah but yeah she exactly. kind of throws it out there and said you know what if you don't believe it go and check yeah. and I think uh Lucidia kind of is like the one that is a yeah. little bit more open to things and is like she's oh, a bit impressed sense. with that as well she kind of looks yeah. at her a bit considering oh you know that's that's not a bad idea yeah yeah, you spoke with some I think, sense. Yeah, we've got a few hints that Marin and her mother are in a little bit of cahoots because I think was kind yeah. of looks past a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah, she said this and she looks to her and she's like, Did she though? She's, so pl- she's pulling the strings of, on them, isn't she? I think. Yes. So, yeah, they kind of make a deal to go and mm-hmm. have a look. The, yeah, the Queen's kind of all just kind of just very blunt and it's like, No, nah, off you go. So, yeah, they head out and I think they have a chat about it. And, yeah, he explains about the family lines, the female Mm -hmm. lines. Yeah. And that, yeah, the alliance is rubbish pretty much because, yeah, he's a man and they will never they will never accept him or Kirian, whatever they say. He was kind of expecting it. And she's like, Mm. you know what? I think you're all better than all of them because you accept people. Yeah. The women are spiteful and they lie. Honestly. Yeah. And you can mm. see, yeah, again, this is it is a turning point because she kind of mm. he sees that he is actually ruling well. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a nice moment. She throws him a bone, doesn't she? Yeah. Um, I did think that I would have liked there to have been just one queen that wasn't awful. I did yeah, feel oh, like so it felt a little bit Jimmy. like the matriarchy wasn't painted. In the best of lights, unfortunately. I mean, obviously, there are good female characters in it, not yes. just Vi. It's not like she's the only one. There are other no, good female but characters. When you look at the unseen yeah. queens as well, neither yeah. of those are that it's great. Just, either. You know, yeah. Yeah, the women are not. They're not ideal. No. Yeah, I would have liked a bit bit more of a I mean, it makes sense, I can see, because she's made it this um you know, the the matriarchy being tied to the land and how that would create a prejudice, I guess, and this elitism. But it is just a shame. Wait, I like I like a nice, you know, competent. It can, they can still be ruthless, but just, you know, a li- little bit of humanity in there too. Yeah, they can have a little bit of understanding. They yeah. can be swayed a little bit. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so they have another kiss. Yeah. I've got that he cages her in, which is always my my catnip. Oh, you like that? Yeah. yeah. I think it's near the wall. Because oh, it's, it's a okay. wall or a desk. If it's not a desk, it's a wall. If it's not a wall, yeah. it's a desk. Yeah, or like a table. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Job done. So, yeah, because she's told him that he's actually really nice and rules the best. Yeah. But she is still frustrated about what's going on. There's stuff going on. And she, she comes out at night and she overhears them talking wow. again, doesn't she? Yes. There's Demi Fay who kind yeah, of yeah yeah who little lurk Demi around Faye. the castle. Mm-hmm. Who if you leave them out some milk, they'll they're be pretty nuts. nifty little things. And they'll if not, out, they're yeah. not very ankle biters. Then yeah. So yeah, I think she gets the Demi Fay to go and she wants to go to the kitchen. Yeah, she can't sleep. I'm not surprised. Some more milk. <laughs> She's be going for a bit. Yeah, yeah. She needs something to help her get off to sleep. But she overhears yeah. them. She goes past and she can't help but have a listen. At the door, can well, she, she would? Well, she yeah, would. there's so many things. It's like, what's this? Don't I? You're gonna tell me? Yeah. You know? So yeah. she hears them all chatting away, and yeah, Thalia's basically shat on her because she's kind of all the stuff that they've chatted about. Yeah. She's kind of going back on it all, mm. and yeah, that's it. it then seems boys that way, go up. It? Yes. yes. Um, so yeah, it's like they're gloating about it all, and it's not nice. No, it's, but she gets discovered. And pretends she hasn't heard as much. She's yes. just heard the bickering between yeah, Finn and, plotting. and Eris, um, which yes. is fun. We know what's happening there, don't we? Yeah, I love yeah. It. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so she she sees that there's a map out, and rather than kind of go, oh, I'm not talking. I don't want to mm. listen to what they're saying. She kind of bluffs it, goes yeah. in. And yeah. kind of says, well, I can help if I'm supposed to be here and doing stuff. It's yeah. my people too. I want to mm-hmm. help out. So this is where we get the list of who all the people are, who all these okay. old ones are. Yeah, yeah. So I do have them, but I won't read them unless okay. we really want them. I think we're but fine. Yeah, so, it's helpful. <laughs> just yeah. you well, it's, reference. Yeah, just from my head. So, well, the Earl King, the Horned One, and... Mm-hmm. Mother of Night as well, isn't The Mother it? of Night and the Father yeah. of Storms. So those yeah. are the ones that are usually 
linked around mm-hmm. but there are a few yeah. more that get mentioned on and off so yeah there's little pieces on the board as there always is when there's military maneuvers love those big maps those oh, massive yeah. table maps they sound and amazing I bet they've got that stick that shoves things across <laughs> yeah they're yeah, using so like, like little, little silver discs aren't yeah. they for the hallows like, and stuff like, cl- like not cluedo monopoly there's like a little dog and a yeah. set of antlers <laughs> oh no picture in it <laughs> that's the way to do it if you were gonna do yeah. it yeah <laughs> buy the stations get the stations so yeah they're chatting about it and how the the unseely um dealt with all the old ones so yeah they're, they're still kind of trapped where they were yeah and they talk about their powers as well and i think is it, I think at this point they're talking about how um, they still have their powers even though they're trapped because there is this belief in them yes. still, you know, like yes. mentioning oh, the old King's hairy balls and stuff. Yes. But like that, there's little traditions that they leave out things for them on certain nights or, you know, yes. light a candle or not or whatever it is. All those yes. superstitions. So keep, the memory yeah. keeps the strength going. Yeah, exactly. So they are there. So, yeah, they chat about that Lysander's still missing and mm-hmm. Vi kind of feels a oh, little God. bit sick yeah. when she hears about she's, it all. She's not good with that. Mm-mm. So she wants to go. Yeah, she's just fed up and she decides to have a dig around. She's fed up of being confined and left out of things. So she goes to have a dig around in his stuff, doesn't she? 